Just, you know, maybe it's just sort of part of my DNA. I just feel you have to help. As tens of thousands of Floridians are scrambling to evacuate, Andrew Loeb is gearing up. It probably is scary, but I don't think of it that way. I just think of, uh, of the need that, that the people have. He is one of four Western New Yorkers on standby to fly to Florida with the Red Cross and provide relief in the aftermath of the potentially devastating storm. I don't like to see bad things happen to good people. And if there's something that you can do to help them, then you know what, why not? Loeb and the Red Cross aren't the only Western New York organizations lending a hand. I mean, think about this. Um, you, you, you go back to your house, you, you left, you come back home in three or four days, and two-thirds of your house is gone and damaged, all your keepsakes. Eight Days of Hope, a national natural disaster relief organization with a headquarters in Buffalo, is set to head down as well with supplies like cleaning wipes, diapers, engine fuel, and trailers equipped with restrooms and hot showers. I really think people are always looking for ways to give back. We're just a conduit. Eight Days of Hope will be joined by 150 local volunteers who will spend the next two to three months helping people rebuild not just their homes, but their lives. When you serve people and you love people, you might leave exhausted, but your heart's going to be full. That's going to happen in Florida starting this next weekend.